Mm. Welcome to Carla Sewing. Now, she's been obsessing over this pattern for at least three weeks, but she's got to read everything still. I thought she had it memorized by now. She even brings the silly thing to bed. <laughs> okay. the instructions. Okay, off to one of her machines. I'm not sure how she decides which ones to use because there's one, two, three, four, just in sight. You really don't want me to go Try to show you all the other ones. I think the breaker flipped or something. This isn't coming on. Oh wait, never mind. Glad I could be of electrical help for you. I don't know why that happened. There you have it. Lots of beeping. Now I know what she's doing when I hear that beeping noise. Now, see, I'm really not sure what's going on. She just has one piece of fabric and she's just sewing it. That makes no <laughs> sense. Oh, no bobbin. This is where she says, Beep. So, I'm getting an idea why it might take so flipping long to uh, sew a garment. I've been sewing paper with this machine, so this needle is totally dull. Oh. So we'll see how well it does. Are you sewing a book? Um, yes, like little um, bits and bobs for junk journals. But this is just e-stitching. I'm going to be using that machine for the sewing. Now uh, the old serger. That old gal. I think you've had me around longer than you've had that serger, but not by much, huh? Yeah, we bought that. I've had that machine for 25 years, I'll bet. Do you like me better than you like it? Just a little bit. Okay. All right, so here we are. Sewing one piece of fabric to, well, nothing. So how come you have two different colors of thread? Well, I, like I said, I was using this machine to sew in my books. And I'm not going to, this will be the only thing I do on this machine, I think, for this cardigan. So I'm just leaving what I have in there because this ease stitching doesn't matter. It's, um, see how big that stitch is? It's called basting. And so what what we're going to do here is apparently, and I don't know this because I haven't tried to match them up, but what I would assume is that the back is slightly bigger than the front and I'm going to have to squish this together oh. to fit it on the front. And so this ease stitch is going to help me pull it tight. Uh. That's what I'm assuming is happening. Um I did not read all the instructions in advance, or maybe not any time recently. I which see. I know you're supposed to, but I didn't. I thought e-stitching was kind of like e-learning, which meant that you actually were like on a computer or something. Ease. Oh, ease. Yes. Oh, e-stitching. Ease-stitching. Ease-stitching. Not e-stitching. Right. Okay, gotcha. Okay, off to the, back to the place to ponder. Drawing again. There. 
there's number one, all lonely by itself. This seems like a lot of fiddling around for a knit pattern. I've got to baste these two bad boys together and then sew them again. And You know, I think your sewing overall would be better if you just stuck to like making ponchos. <laughs> really all you have to do is just like get a blanket and cut a hole in it, stick your head in it. That's true. You could sew it up so it wouldn't ravel. That's true. Maybe I'll start a poncho making business. Yeah. Okay, you guys talk amongst yourself. I'm gonna go get that package of new pins that everybody has been raving about that I got in my blueprint box. I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, because you're out of pins, because... Uh, everybody says these pins are extra special. Well, these here look pretty special. They have little butterflies on them. Hmm. Those are terrible pins. Are they? Maybe that's because they haven't metamorphosized yet. Well, I thought they were at the end of their journey. Well, then they're, they're, the butterfly they're, state. they're dead then. So she talked about making bits and bobs. Here's some of that stuff. And we did find something interesting when we were clearing out drawers and stuff for our cabinets. We found hidden behind a drawer a um, receipt from King's Hoopers from 1992. February 28th of 1992, 3.18 p.m. We didn't buy that. I haven't even looked at this yet. Well, uh, we didn't we own this house in 1992. 10 pounds of russet potatoes are 59 cents. <laughs> Tangerines were $1.79. It was a bag. Uh, boy, they got a lot of tangerines. Wow. Tortillas, $1.39. That's a pretty good price. Tomatoes, we don't care about those. Troy doesn't like tomatoes. Eggs. How much were eggs? eggs? Where are they? Right Indian here. eggs. I can't see it. 58 cents. Yep. Or $1.74. I can't tell. She got two of them. Yeah. One at two for a dollar seventy-four. Oh, okay. Bagels were a dollar seventy-four. Bananas, 40, 41 one cents. cents a pound. Rolled gold pretzel sticks. A dollar sixteen. One at two for two forty-nine. This guy was not taking advantage of the those weird King Supers deals. Yeah, but no, the kielbasa, she got um, one at two, or two for two forty nine. so she got one for free. Mm. The nice Polish lady. I'm assuming. I don't know. All is 83 cents. So, you know, a lot of the stuff really hasn't changed that much in price. But mm. some of it probably has. Okay, let's get back to sewing. So these are those pins. Do a close-up on those. Well, did you hold it still? Well, let me put it down. Okay. Look how cute that container is. Oh, isn't that cute? It is cute. Okay. Okay, what do I have here? So, I bought this cup for Carla. I didn't know. I thought it was just pink. So I thought she would like it. She could hold on to it. Turns out, it's a wine deal. <laughs> so as a teacher, she hasn't been brave enough to take it into school. Although now that we're um, in oh. e-learning, I guess she can um, take it to school because school is over here on her chair, but she doesn't drink wine. So anyway, she's Rose all day. Yeah, I put some of my Happy Planner stickers on there. I put a heart over the little whatever accent mark for the rosé and then I just added some pens and pencils so that it looked like a, a suitable for school cup but I have those big you know the big yetis I don't know if we have any real yetis most of ours are probably knockoffs but um, they're really hard to hold on to and if you don't have any cups this shape I find this shape of cup really nice to hold on to those of you young whippersnappers, you don't know about all this, but when you get older, you kind of start to lose hand strength 
or every now and then my thumbs will flare up and get a little sore for a week or so. Not bad. I know that I have friends that it's much, much worse. But, um, you know, having something you can hold on to does make it a little bit nicer. All right, so. Now we're going to do something. What are we doing here? Got to figure out what we're doing. Okay, this one goes on this side. And this one goes on this side. So do you guys remember that one dress I made? where I made like the most epic mistakes ever and it turned out the back was like down to here. The reason why that was is because I sewed the back on like this. And so the armholes made the scoop back. And then if you remember correctly, correctly even though i was saying and my brain was saying uh-uh-uh that's not right i went ahead and i added the um bias binding finish all over the neckline and down the seam down the back i top stitched yeah i think that was my biggest sewing mistake of all that i've made so far so let's get these bad boys switched around so the armholes are in the right spot. Yeah, you don't want to get that well acquainted with your seam ripper. No. I mean, you know it pretty well, that last one. Okay, so Troy, the, the girls watching will already know this. Do you see how this is a little bit bigger? Yes, I see that. So what we're going to do then, we're going to take this and we're just going to... I'm going to have to wind up pulling this back out because clearly it doesn't need to be gathered like this. But you kind of know that could be a design feature. Well, it might be. It depends on how much effort I'm willing to put in to this. All right, let's see some of my fancy pins. Extreme close up. Nice. Went right in there, didn't it? Mm hmm. Okay. Nice hands. Did you know that? I Well, not. Really, I didn't talk about your you. nails. No, um, I did just put in put on some of my Norwegian formula, my fisherman's friend. Can't live without that stuff. Do you guys use that stuff? It's my favorite hand lotion, it seems to be the only stuff that actually works. Now, an interesting thing, Troy, and any beginner sewers out there. I didn't know this when I first started sewing, but you know, you're looking at this and you're like, well, that's gonna be all gathered up, but you don't really look at the edges. And that was a huge thing for me when I was setting in sleeves and everything and I would get so frustrated. Um, you're really looking way down at the seam. And so now that I have that pinned, I can just press that down and there's not going to be any gathers. It's really going... That was a small amount to ease in, truthfully. All right, so there's one down. There's one. Pucker it. I'm puckering. So I needed some black acrylic paint for a junk journal project that I'm working on. And um, I don't know if I have some and it's packed or if I took all of my paint to school, you know, for my students. But um, I did find three things of paint. One of them's navy and one of them's white and one of them's turquoise and none of the colors that I need. And so Troy had to go to the store today to buy something for the stove. Is the stove installed or just that plug? Just the plug. Oh, yeah, because you wouldn't put it in now because the counter has to go in first. Yeah. I'm an expert. A true genius. You're dealing with a true genius here, you guys. And uh, now I lost my train of thought. Paint. 
paint. Oh, so he bought me some paint. I was going to buy some on eBay, not eBay, Amazon. I don't know why I keep saying eBay. I don't shop on eBay that much. But eBay was charging like $4.50 for the two ounce one. And then they had a 16 ounce one of the, um, the apple barrel. I don't have one. A 16 ounce apple barrel one was like $4.97 or something. And I was like, well, I'm not paying $4.50 for two ounces when I can get a big one for 16 ounces for $5. I don't need 16 ounces. So Troy got me this um, at the hardware store today. He had to go out and buy something um, for the stove. It's soap and water cleanup. I know this is more heavy duty than what we need for crafting, but I didn't have to order on Amazon. So did any of you go to the, um, go to Joann's and get some Butterick patterns today? I wanted to, and I have not been out. I have been socially isolating the whole time. But I thought I might run out since I needed that black paint. Um, but it turns out that our Joann's is closed because it's in the mall. And our mall is closed. So I don't know if you guys were able to get in on that or not. So now I think I'm going to actually have to find matching thread. Okay. Because... It says pin back and front sections together at shoulders, adjust ease, and then baste. And then we have to stitch and stitch again a quarter inch away in the seam allowances. Trim close to second stitching, press seams towards back. So this whole thing is asking for double stitched seams. That is interesting to me. Well, you want it to stay together because, you know, you never know how crazy and wild you get when you're wearing a mustard-colored cardigan. I know. I've got to stay. Woo! stay. Cardigan! Yeah. Woo Let's go have some fun, gals! <clears throat> or something like that. Something like that. Yeah. That's You know, every teacher wears a cardigan practically every day, yeah. and that's how we all yeah. act all the time. Yeah. Um, that's what we thought. I'm a high school teacher. We don't act anyway other than grumpy. That's true. High school teachers are old grumps. This doesn't even seem to be wanting me to use my serger. Son of a... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Isn't that weird? It wants me to double stitch the side seams. I'm assuming I can do the hem on my cover stitch. Let's see. The band... We have to stay stitch the neck. I don't think I've ever stay stitched any kind of knit, and this knit is very stable. I think stay stitching is not quite necessary, but I'm a goody goody. I'll follow the directions. I don't know. Put down below what you would do. Oh, and I didn't cut interfacing, so I need to get that out. I do have some knit interfacing somewhere around here. Okay, as thrilling as this is, um, your cameraman's got. You're done? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I'll, I'll come back later when the thing is finished. Okay? okay, that sounds good. Wrap it up, babe. All right, I'm gonna make this cardigan now, and I don't know what I. I haven't decided if I'm gonna just do it on my serger, because everything it says double stitched. All right. I'll, I'll ponder that and talk to you guys later. If I don't get back to you today, you have a fantastic day. Take care.